Hi everyone, my name is Blake Bejarano, and today I'm going to show you how to access the time travel functionality inside of your Jupyter Notebook in the CoCalc platform. You can see I'm at CoCalc.com. I'm gonna head over to my projects. I'll click on the project that I'd like to use or create a new one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click on my example project. And here I'd like to create a new notebook. So I'll head over to the plus new button located on the left-hand side in the action bar, click on that name my file, my example time travel. Now I'll click on Jupyter Notebook. I could also click on the help me write this functionality, but I'll get started from scratch here. Maybe I'll still use some AI. And in fact, I'll generate a cell directly here inside of the notebook by clicking on generate using AI. I can choose my large language model. And here I'll choose GPT-4 Omni 8K and I'll simply ask to create a script that plots a vector field in 3D. So now I can insert the cell. I have this nice cell to get started with. I can click run. You'll see I'll get my nice vector field that will pop up here in just a second. And while we're waiting, I'm going to click on the text button. You can use rich text, WYSIWYG editor, or markdown with LaTeX compatibility. Here's my nice little vector field. Um, but here I'm gonna click on markdown and maybe just as an example so I can handwrite a couple lines, I'll make a intro. Maybe here I want to go ahead and make a checkbox and some LaTeX. Okay, and here's just a little example on some of that formatting. And then here, just as a quick last example, I'll handwrite a line, it's just something really simple. A equals two, B equals three, new cell, B minus A. And what I really wanna get at here is how to access the time travel functionality. So what you'll do is navigate to the upper left-hand corner and click on this big blue button that says time travel. This will open up a separate iframe. And now I have the full version control history of the file from its initialization up to its current state, fine grain resolution every two seconds, everything's recorded. So you can use the scroll bar and visually rewatch your document be created over time, see who's contributed what, say, oh, hey, Blake, I really like what you did up to revision 31 out of 43, but we might wanna go ahead and do something a bit more like this. And then we can revert back to that previous image, build on top of that. And if you're really lost in the weeds, you can't figure out for the life of you what went wrong where, you can actually click on the change diffs and see exactly what's changed in JSON format between any two points in time with syntax highlighting. And then you can iterate throughout the document in that sense too. So this is created to complement Git, um, but that is your quick tip and trick on using the CoCalc interface for today. Please like, subscribe, follow us for more, and I will see you next time. Thanks again.